Hey, so I'm having some characters that I wanna animate. There are a lot of them, and they're pretty same alike, like they're the same core. So I wanna animate them all in Unity, but I do have a plan to make just one animation to work for all that. So I don't have to do an animation over and over if if I'm doing a modeling and running they're pretty the same so I don't want to waste time by, by doing uh, sk skinning a little and making the bones and you know make the animations and make it over and over so I'll be trying to do just one skill one skinning one just setting up the character and one animation that works for all I didn't really I didn't really try that before but I think that should work so one thing you, sh you should want to do is to get all the characters aligned like that so because actually when you're doing the boons when you're moving the character you're actually moving the sprite and the only doesn't know what you're doing you're just telling him just move that part and it's the leg so you want to put that over like this leg is over this leg so and so on for all the characters so I'll be exporting this one so here's the unity here's my character I will make the go to skin editor and make the bones and do the weights and get back for you if you don't have the skin editor here I'll put the card right here so you should be able to know how to do it I'll make it and get back to you so I'm back I made the right skin and the bones and all that let's try and do a check Make an OC. Mm. Here's the enemy. I made some kind of error here. This bone should be in, not out. I'll be fixing that, but let's imagine that everything is alright. Alright, so now we have our character, we can let me, let me make an animation for him, create here, say, enemy, Let's move this leg, move the other leg, maybe move this, move this bit, this bit. Alright, so now we have our animation. 
something like that. So now that we are having our animation, let's pick our other our other characters to make the same animation. So let's get this guy. I rover the volcanic one. And we need to make sure that it fits nicely. Alright. We'll save that. And then forest. Now when you look here, you open the sprite editor, the skinning, the skinning editor, you can't actually see anything. What we want to do is to make the skinning editor like that. So let's go to here. So now we're having the volcanic PNG, the meta, meta data of the PNG, and the forest. I'll get all the volcanic to the forest and save. Get back here. Let's go through the forest. Now we're having the skinning working. Go here, we put add sprite skin, create bones. Alright, so we also could get this copy component, we could paste it as new. Let's look at this animation. Now we're having the same animation, but of course we should be making the hands alike. So you can do it manually, or to be exact sure, you could get the position of uh, all the things that were moved around. So. If we, we move the, the limbs, so I want the inner shoulder, can it the inner shoulder, your copy component, open that up, the inner shoulder, base component values, uh, the inner, same goes with the inner arm, cup component, inner arm, it's the same in our hand. Uh, I think I just moved the shoulders. So we'll get the outer shoulder here, cup component, outer shoulder, base component values, and get the outer thigh, cup component, outer thigh, base. Component values and the inner thigh copy inner thigh is component values. All right. So now, hopefully, when I'm using the forest, can do the same animation as the volcanic one. So they're both working with the same. <coughs> so now we have them both working with the same animation, and you don't have to make the skinning editor again. You don't have to make wounds. You don't have to make the same the animation over and over. So I can easily do that to all the enemies I have. So I just do one enemy, one animation at a time, one skinning, one everything, 